Hi there, welcome to the channel and welcome to a dollar store gardening haul. This is something that I like watching on other YouTube videos is when people, you know, have a an exciting haul of items that they either got in the mail or from, you know, stores, especially if it's gardening stuff. So I wanted to do a video today to show you a bunch of items that I picked up at the Dollarama in the past couple weeks. And these are all relating to gardening. And a lot of these things are gonna be really good for spring gardening and to be used right away. So the Dollarama is a Canadian dollar store that um, you can find pretty much on every block <laughs> in the cities. It's, uh, there's almost as many Dollaramas out there as there is Tim Hortons. And I like to use it to purchase, you know, affordable stuff for my garden. So I'm very excited because I found some new things at the Dollarama this year that I've never seen before. And as we all know, nothing is ever a dollar anymore. It's pretty hard to find very many items in our dollar stores that are actually only a dollar. But that is just the way it is nowadays. But still, things are very affordable. And if you can get a few years use out of them in your garden, I think it's totally worth purchasing. So I'm going to show you all the great things that I picked up at the Dollarama. So if you've shopped through the aisles of Dollarama stores and the dollar stores in the springtime, they have so many gardening items there. There's all sorts of ornaments and all sorts of uh, different equipment like sprinklers and all sorts of tools. And they have tons and tons of stuff for gardening. And I always like to try to get there early spring before, you know, everything gets picked over. So I'm going to show you a couple things that I picked up. Some of this frost protector cloth will be very handy to have this spring. If, you know, we get some late frost, which sometimes um, once you get your garden all planted, there's risk of frost. So this will work good to cover up things, protect it, and also again in the fall. So, you know, I have a lot of old sheets and blankets that I use for that. So this was something I just thought I'll pick it up and see how it works. It was three dollars, three fifty. Um, gardening gloves, I mean, I like to get good quality ones, but you tend to lose them, so you can never have too many of these lying around. So they were a buck fifty at Dollarama. So these little plant ties are very handy to have for sometimes you need to fix your trellising or um, maybe attach your tomato plants. To the trellising but I always have a little package of these in my garden shed to use. So something that I've picked up in the past and used is these garden cloches that the dollar store sells and this comes in a pack of three this size and it's nice because they do have the little vents on the top. Um, they do blow away quite easily in the wind just like most things in the garden. So with a stick or you know a long branch you can stick it through the uh, the vent hole in the top into the ground and help keep it secured. So I have picked up a couple packs of these plant garden stakes here. They will be great for securing, you know, these garden cloches and this frost protection fleece. If you need to kind of secure it into the ground, these work great. And I also have a plan to do some drip irrigation and get some lines set up throughout my garden and throughout my container garden and these kind of things will be good to have to secure your, your garden hoses and such. And I was also excited to find these supersized garden cloches here. So these ones are $3.25 each, but they also came with their own little spikes here. If you can see them in the, in the container. So they come with the little spikes and they have little tiny holes around the edge here so you can actually secure them into your dirt a little better and again they have the nice little venting top here so i think these will be really good to do some direct winter sowing which i'm going to get outside and start doing tomorrow so i'm gonna you know put some of my seeds directly into some of my containers even though there's still snow and the dirt is frozen i'm going to give it a try do some direct sowing of some cool weather crops such as um, some lettuces some kale some spinach radishes we'll see but i just think these are really good because they're quite a bit bigger they'll make a nice dome even these little ones will work we'll try some of them as well and we'll see how that goes 
<clears throat> later on in the season when you got your tomatoes and peppers and they're getting pretty tall again sometimes here on the prairies we get those late frosts like at the end of may early june when you've already got stuff in the ground this will be you know a nice size that should fit over your bigger plants so i got i found something new in the aisles that i've never seen before and, and maybe they have been in the past but i've just never seen them but that was some fabric grow bags so the dollarama has this brand called schmidt of grow bags there was three different sizes it's kind of a small one a big one and then there was one that was called a raised fabric garden bed so you can see a picture of it there this was five dollars this one was 450 and the smaller one was 325 so i haven't even taken these out of the packaging to kind of see what they look like so i thought that would be fun to do here today on my video we'll call it a grow bag unboxing video so this is a medium size one and as you can see here this is how big it is it's got some handles kind of here so something this size would definitely work for a tomato plant or a pepper plant you know if you want to do some lettuces radishes whatever whatever kind of vegetable or even flowers you'd want would you know this is a nice size pot for that so as far as size this is a 2.8 gallon or 10.6 liter size container so this one the large one here is a 10.5 gallon size grow bag so this is a great size for potatoes which is what i'm thinking this will be used for it's got a bit of a tie in it there so as you can see it's quite deep it's got the handles and yeah so if you've never grown with grow bags I, I like growing with them they're so good for you know air pruning your plants and for watering you know you don't have to worry about things getting too soggy they got great drainage great for air rooting so I'm a big fan of grow bags and I just wanted to show you compare I did purchase some at a local store which I love supporting and I'm pretty sure the quality is probably better but this is also a three gallon container so this brand on this one is a geopot it was $7.99 my dollar store one was $3.25 so about half the price so I'll be growing stuff in both of these pots this summer we'll see how it goes this year and you know hopefully i get multiple years out of each of these but we shall see so the third type of grow bag was called the garden bed so this one is 15 gallons so it's supposed to be bigger than this other one here but i think it's more of a, a spread out type system so they're not super deep but they got a large diameter so things that don't have a really deep root system will work in this i'm not sure exactly what that's going to be right now they show it you know with flowers in it which is quite pretty so i haven't figured out yet what i'll be growing in this yet but um, i just thought i'd pick one up test it out see how it works so i picked up a whole variety of garden pots at the dollar store that i was very excited about as well so inside here were some smaller ones that I just thought were quite nice looking. They're plastic, so they're super cheap. Uh, these cost $3 a piece. So these smaller size ones I picked up for $3 a piece. And as you can see, they each have their own. Uh, they kind of have a similar design with different colors here. I thought these would make nice flower pots to set on the deck or around the garden area. These larger ones that I picked up also could be used for flowers, you know, a nice big flower pot, or they're big enough to grow a tomato plant in or pepper plant, you know, a different variety of vegetables could definitely be grown in these. They all have little holes that you can knock out with a nail and a hammer just so you have good drainage. These size were $4 each. 
And I was really excited to pick up these super huge size pots. These ones were these ones were five bucks a piece. And again, you could plant potatoes in these even, um, all sorts of different vegetables. My plan with these is to have them in my garden and do like maybe a bush tomato or maybe more potatoes and just be able to move them around around my garden is great. So even if you're you know, living in a small space with just a, you know, a small patio or a deck, if you get six to eight hours of sunshine, you could grow a lot of vegetables in a small space using these containers. I always pick up a lot of these from the Dollarama store. You usually get them in a three pack. They come in different sizes. I think there's one that's even bigger than these and smaller ones, but they work good if you're going to be setting your pots on your deck and you don't want the water to, you know, uh, stain your deck. You can use these, you know, to catch some of that water. You can bottom water so that they get a lot of that moisture wicked up, which is great for your plants. These kind of place work good under your grow bags as well. So that's pretty much it for my Dollarama gardening haul for today. I am very excited to get filling all these containers with some potting soil and try using all these different sizes of cloches to get growing outdoors sooner than later. So stay tuned for some more direct winter sowing and uh, early spring uh, direct sowing in my garden. So I hope you enjoyed my video today. If uh, you would like to leave a comment, that would be great. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. Thank you for watching and happy gardening.